Once we finish it, finish looking at our SBRM, make sure that we know the pore impedance is 50 ohms, and the pore assignment is correct, is what we expect. Next is we have to do some de-embedding. Because after Mike's measurements, we are uh, assessing, accessing the D device on the test with connectors and some traces, whether you like it or not. It has to be done this way. Have to, from cables to probes to the device on the test, there is some connection. And we call that the fixture. What the embedding is doing is to remove that fixture to get you the true device under test measurement device under test measurement. How do we do it? The concept is like this. You have port one going through a fixture to a device under test, and you have another fixture going through port two. Now you can make a separate measurement on the fixture by themselves. Now you have information about the fixture. You can use the fixture information to take out the effect of the fixtures. Now, like Mike mentioned, in AFR family, there are many different reference structures that you can get the fixture information from. 1x open, 1x, 1x short, and of course, the classic 2x through. Now, great. how do we do it? Say you have S parameter, S parameter, and S parameter of the fixture. Now, notice, I want to make a, a note here. There's a reason why the fixture purple and the fixture orange are different colors, and one is have a prime, because I can try as my best to make two perfect, ideally the same fixtures, but they're gonna be a little different. And that's why we have to put in that prime and change the color. It's the tolerance that we're looking for here. Now once you have the S parameters of these three objects, what you're gonna do is you look at the T parameter of the fixture. You transform that into T parameter. T parameter, a T parameter. T parameter is good because we can cascade them and use an inverse to take out our fixture, matrix algebra. And what is left is your perfect device under test S parameter, plus a little bit of the fixture here and there. Any questions so far? Good. Great. And there are many techniques. Mike mentioned one, which is AFR, automatic fixture removal. But there are other techniques that we can do in the virtual platform in the simulation. Let's say you measure a 2x through. This is the 2x that I'm showing. And you can show it in <clears throat> also in automatic fixture removal, measurement-based model.